Hi YouTube, in this video I will be explaining how to install a four-way switch in a circuit that was wired in Romax. So a four-way switch is a switch that works alone with two three-way switches. This is a three-way switch and this is a three-way switch. Works along with two three-way switches to control the light from three different locations. You can also add other four-way switches in to control the light from multiple locations. So what you always have is you always have the two three-way switches and you have a four-way switch or other four-way switches to control the light from other locations. So let me show you what um, a four-way switch looks like. This is a four-way switch. Notice it has four screws on it and the ground screw. It has two screws on top. They're black on this particular switch. And you have two screws on the bottom. They're gold on this particular switch. So what will happen is two, a set of travelers from one of these three-way switches will land on those black screws. And a set of travelers coming from the other three-way switch will land on those copper screws. If you don't understand what travelers are, you would need to go back and look at my videos on how to install three-way switches. So I've made two other videos on how to install three-way switches. And if you need to understand what travelers are or you want to understand about three-way switches, you will have to go back to my videos that I made on how to install a three-way switch. There's also other videos on YouTube that you can look at on how to install a three-way switch. Now, all four-way switches are not the same. So take a look at this four-way switch. Notice that the screws on this four-way switch are all uh, copper gold, but it still worked the same. You would terminate two travelers from one three-way switch, a set of travelers, on the top screws, and then you would terminate a set of travelers coming from the other three-way switch on the bottom screw. So they work the same, but just some manufacturers make this, this set of screws different colors. Okay, now let's look in our box, our four-way switch box. So we've already got a three-way switch, and we got another three-way switch. And what we have is we have Pieces of the Romex come from those three-way switches going over to the four-way switch. And from each three-way switch, we have a set of wires, two wires from each three-way switch called travelers. And these travelers is what will land on our four-way switch. So what I want to do, I want to move the camera in closer so you can see better what I'm about to do. Move it a little close. Key in on that four-way switch box. Okay, now, okay, so what you have is you have two wires in the same piece of Romax. That's two of your travelers. That's one set of travelers. Then you have two more wires in a different piece of Romax. That's your other two travelers. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to have... Uh, Two of the travelers coming from one three-way switch land on these dark screws, and you have two of the travelers coming from one three-way switch land on these gold screws here. All right, so let's get started here. I am first, I'm going to do my ground. I like doing my ground first. Oh, oh, and also I want to add that I've done the most important thing in this video. And the most important thing is to turn the circuit off so that I don't get shocked or electrocuted. And I recommend that you do the exact same thing that before you work on anything, turn off the circuit so that you don't get shocked or electrocuted. So, okay. Now then, what I have is my three-way switch and I am going to do my ground. First, I made a loop and I'm going to tighten it down under my ground, green ground screw. So the ground is terminated. 
Now, I am going to take one set of travelers and they'll be in the same piece of Romax cable. And strip those. And I'm going to make a loop. Now, I can choose to put these on either set of screws. It does not matter. It could be the dark screws or the gold screws. Now, what I can't do is I can't put one on a gold screw and one on a black screw. They both either have to go on a gold set of screws or the black set of screws. So, uh, two travelers from one through a switch need to either go on the gold set of screws or the black set of screws. So I'm just going to use the black set of screws. All right. Uh, make a loop, strip, make a loop, and tighten it down under the screw, under the black screw. And the other wire, do the same thing under the other black screw. Tighten it down. Okay. Now, my other set of travelers, I'll land on the gold screw. On the gold screws. Alright. Make our strip. Make a loop. Strip. Make a loop. Okay. So it doesn't matter which traveler go on which screw, as long as they both go on a gold screw. All right. And do the other traveler on the other gold screw. Uh oh, excuse me. Okay, there we have made our terminations. Now we're ready to actually put our switch in the box. Now, I want to caution you to be careful that this gold copper wire does not need to come in contact with any of these screws. This gold copper wire, bare copper wire, does not need to come in contact with any of these screws. So be cautious and careful when, as you put in the... Uh, four-way switch in this box. Make sure that that copper does not come in contact with any of those screws to speed up the process. I have my drill just to speed the process up. Okay. Okay. Now we're ready to put on our cover. All right, put on our cover. All right, now we're ready to turn on our circuit and see that our four-way switch and our three-way switches all control the light. So what I want to do now is pull the camera back where you can see the light and all the switches. I'll go turn the circuit on. Okay. The circuit is on. Now let's try. Four-way switch. Three-way. Four. Three-way. Three-way. Four-way. Three-way. Four-way. So that is how you install a four-way switch now one more thing i gotta caution you about because i almost did this the other day when you are going to buy a four-way switch be very careful be very cautious that you don't pick up the wrong switch uh be very careful that you don't pick up a double pole single throw switch okay this is called a double pole 
single throw switch. It looks just like a four-way switch. Have two screws on both sides, two screws at the top, two screws at the bottom. Even has the ground wire on the bottom. N now let's look at this four-way switch. So the four-way switch is on the left hand side in the video and the double pole single throw switch is on the right hand side of the video notice they look really really identical but there's one distinctive difference in the two and the distinctive difference is the double pole single throw switch has off and on on it notice it has off and you push it up and has on but now notice the four-way switch does not have off and on on it. Now, just keep that in mind. Double pole single throw switches has a different function and a different purpose than the four-way switch. The four-way switch work with three-way switches to control the light and a double pole single throw switch is used sort of like a disconnect to disconnect more than one circuit. So just be cautious and careful because I went to Home Depot the other day and I grabbed a double pole single throw switch, not paying attention, thinking that it was a four-way switch. So do be careful. I want to caution you about that. That concludes this video. I hope that you can find this video useful and I thank you for watching.